Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Cello here and in today's YouTube video we're hitting the chest, the shoulders, the rear delts and a little bit of triceps. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so I've actually realised that we've hit legs, we've hit glutes, we've hit booty, back, but we seem to neglect our chest, our shoulders and our triceps. Now, I don't know whether it's because you haven't found a YouTube video that explains things to you, or maybe that you're scared that you're gonna get this massive separation of a chest and massive traps, but trust me when I say your body can only grow so far. So, I wanna take you through a complete push session, a push session that you're gonna love and a push session that I know you will be able to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is warm up. So I've grabbed a band and we're gonna do some shoulder dislocations. Now this is gonna improve your shoulder mobility, but if you can't do this movement, you're gonna do a partial shoulder dislocation. So what does that mean? Grab the band just like so. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. You're gonna bring the band over your head and then back round. Now if you can't do that movement, what I want you to do is just come here stretch as far as you can and come back forward. Come here, stretch as, back as far as you can, sorry, and come forward. Now, this movement is absolutely amazing for those rotator cuffs. It's so, it's so amazing for shoulder mobility and it takes a little while to get all the way back with comfort and all the way forward. Please mobilize your body. I would rather you do one less exercise and actually focus more on mobility and warming up your body properly. If you want a full upper body mobility routine, let me know in the comments below. As you know, this YouTube channel is to make fitness simple for you. And I am here to help you go to the gym with absolute confidence. Not just the gym, home workouts. So without further ado, let's warm up. Okay, so guys, every single time you are training for strength or for power or you're progressively overloading, especially if you're on the strong program with the Tone and Sculpt app, which is my personal program on that platform, you will notice that all your big movements are always at the beginning of your workout, not mid and not end. The reason being is because that's when you have the most energy. So when you are strength training, when you are lifting weights, you're gonna deplete your energy throughout your workout. So if you've ever felt really dizzy or if you felt really depleted or really exhausted during your workout, that's because your muscles are depleting. So that's why we want to do those big moves right at the beginning and then work towards more supersets for intensity and isolations right at the end. And of course a burner if you're doing the strong program. Right, a few pro tips. Now I'm going to be so honest with you because I just... Number one, I don't want it to seem like I know everything because I just don't. And number two, we all learn something new every single day. I used to be absolutely intimidated on chest press. I actually never wanted to do it. I thought I never did it right. And I actually was really scared that I would just end up looking just not the way I wanted to look. And bottom line is, it's really only been probably I'd say two years, if that, that I've started to really incorporate barbell chest press into my routine and this is probably the weakest exercise that I am at I'm not strong in this at all but for myself anyway compared to other exercises and I'm learning every single day so these are tips that have helped me but there are people who do it way better than I do but these are just tips that help me and I really hope they help you and it's not as intimidating doing this exercise I promise you that So 
So a tip, if you're doing this exercise by yourself, don't put clips on the barbell because just in case it doesn't come back up, you can fling the weight from one side to another and then lift the barbell. So that's just a little safety tip. Number two, you're gonna see a different variety of how people do a chest press. Some people do an overly extended back, just like so. And it's like so overly extended, you could almost put like a massive box in there. However, I just think that's not very comfortable for me. So the tip that I want you to get is the following. When you're flat on the bench, your shoulders should retract back. That's what I want you to imagine. So don't just lay flat on the bench like this. Imagine your shoulders pinned back and retracting. If I'm just laying flat on the bench, that's how my shoulders would look. But if I'm retracting back, I'm pulling back and my chest is naturally coming up, meaning I'm ready to bring it to my chest and push and pull with my chest as well. That's what I want you to focus on. It's your chest doing the movement, not just your arms pushing it, pushing it up. So that's why retracting back is gonna isolate your chest to do the, the lifting for you. So what I mean by that is, first of all, ensure that the barbell is nice and balanced and in center. Then you're gonna place your hands not parallel and narrow like this. You want it a little, a little bit more wider. Now, this is me just laying flat on the bench, but retracting back, lifting my chest upright, slight arch. You will have a slight arch naturally for retracting your shoulders back. You're gonna lift the weight, lock it in, keep your hands nice and secure, bring the barbell to your chest, and then push back up. Good job, let's go. Okay, next movement we're doing is an incline chest press. So we're hitting that top area. So your bench needs to be inclined just like so. Same principle applies, retracting your shoulders back, you're gonna have a slight arch. If your, bench, if your back is completely flat, you can't isolate your chest. So naturally, by you retracting back, look, naturally, it's naturally gonna pin up. So that's why that arch is naturally going to happen. How many times I say naturally? It's naturally, so naturally, naturally, just naturally going ding, 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 ding. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some 12s. You can always do a warm up set prior. In the UK, we have our weights with kg. In America, I believe you have them in pounds. So I think this is about 25 pounds each dumbbell, but I don't bloody know. Anyway, so pin up. Retract back, breathe in, look forward, chin tucked, and let's go. woman's best BCAAs as always just to keep me going a bit of sweetness during your workout mm. I also add a scoop of creatine in there so I started to do that more and more just because I'm lifting a bit more now so creatine is great for you we're gonna up the weights to 15 kg remember the entire workout is in the description box why do I put straps on well because the only part of my body that doesn't seem to want to grow are my calves <laughs> and my wrists. Next move 
movement is a superset. We're gonna do a pec fly. So essentially you're gonna grab this machine by the handle. You have gonna have a slight bend to your elbows. You're gonna bring in just like so. And then from there, we're gonna go into a lateral shoulder raise. So we're gonna grab our dumbbells. We're gonna stand nice and strong. Slightly lean forward, which helps me a bit with my uh, lateral flies. And we're gonna do a lateral fly, just like so. Two flies in one set. That's a bit heavy. We'll see how I feel about that. So a tip when doing this exercise, I'm still learning along the way too. Yet again, chest nice and strong, chin nice and tucked. You don't wanna just pull. You don't wanna just pull. You want to have a slight bend and almost like give yourself a hug. And that sounds really silly, but giving yourself a hug is what I imagine. So you're gonna stretch and give ooh, yourself a hug, just like so. You're gonna come up like that, retract your shoulders, and then pull with your pecs, give yourself a hug, separate, take your time, it's a low weight. on to the next superset we're going to be doing a oh my god I feel like I've got a tight little pump <laughs> joking um, so the next exercise we're gonna be doing is another superset so this superset is going to require you to hit those delts what do I mean about delts as well a little bit of fun fact for you you see your shoulder right here this pretty little bolder shoulder. Well, you have your front delt, you have your middle delt, you have your posterior deltoid. So you see you get all those nice little textured details on your shoulders. That's what hidden different parts of the shoulders means. So for example, when you're doing a shoulder press, you're actually hitting a lot of front and middle. When you are doing flies, if done correctly, you're hitting a lot of posterior rear delt. If you are doing lateral, you're hitting a lot of side. If you are doing front, of course, you're hitting the front delt, depending on your grip. So if you're doing front raises like this or like this, you're hitting your delt much more. If you're inverting like this, you're gonna be hitting that front delt, but also a bit of nice chesty chest. But it works well because this is a push session. Push consists of shoulders, chest, triceps, rear delts, which is shoulders. But you can also hit your rear delts on back day, which you will do on the Tone & Sculpt app strong program. So what I'm going to be doing now, just realized the weights I want are not here, but it's fine, we're going to push. We're going to be doing, definitely not, that's heavy. <laughs> I need, I don't have the weights I need. These are very heavy. Yeah, that one's sure. Anyway, we're gonna attempt it. If it's too heavy, we're gonna have to make do with something else. We're gonna have to get a barbell. But I'm gonna grab some 15s, and then we're gonna grab some fives and hit some front delts, seated. So you're gonna be sat down for the whole duration of this workout. Damn, these feel really heavy. Let's go, let's see.
Right, next superset, man. If you're gonna give this workout a go, it's definitely not beginner friendly, I will say. Maybe I should have said that at the beginning. But um, if you do wanna make it beginner friendly, let me know and I can list you a brand new workout and I can pin it at the top of the comments so everybody can give something a go from this video. But you're gonna learn a lot. Right, face pulls. Now, a bit of drama behind face pulls. A lot of people go, it's terrible for you, it's not good for you, a lot of people are like, it's the best for you. I absolutely love it, personally. If done correctly, you're gonna hit those rear delts. So here's a few tips. It's called a face pull. That means you should be pulling towards your face, up top. Now when you're pulling, I don't want you to just pull down, I want you to pull nice and high. So depending on your grip will depend that. Now if I rotate out, I can pull a little bit higher. If I rotate in, it's gonna feel just a little bit more uncomfortable. So I'm rotating my grip outwards, just like so. I'm leaning back, I'm controlling my stance, as you can see, and I'm gonna pull towards my head a little bit higher if I can. Let me just lower the weight so I can get a little bit higher and hit that rear delt. This is not about how much you can lift, this is about the movement. So when you're bringing the rope towards you, you wanna pull apart hitting those rear delts nice and high, and then bring back. Remember, pull apart. They really should be called face pull aparts, not face pulls, because face pulls just indicates that. Well, really, they're pull aparts. One, two, three, let's go. front raises. I'm using the plate here. You want to keep your elbows nice and locked for this. Not bent, nice and locked. Bringing the movement towards you, up and then down, controlling each and every single rep. You can reset if you want, but to keep that tension, I want you to keep on going. You're going to be working a lot of core here as well. So you're getting a really, really good workout here. Woo! When you're doing calf raises, especially like if you have an elevation here, which you should, you're gonna go pump, pump, up, come down. You're gonna go pump, pump. Same principle with this, essentially. You wanna bring it down and down again, just like so, getting that last bit of squeeze. You're gonna bring it down and down again, but try and push it forward. Imagine when you're holding this and you're pushing forward, it's like you're bending I want you to imagine you're bending this bar. That's what I want you to do, imagine. So, you're gonna go push, push. But imagine, as you're pushing, you're bending it, it's gonna hit that tricep so much more. So every single time I'm doing a tricep push down, I imagine the bar bending so I can get a better contraction. Try and keep your shoulders a little bit rotated backwards as well. Don't bring them completely forward. So a lot of mechanics to this move. That's why I hate it so much, but it's brilliant for your triceps. Okay, so that was the workout done. Now I know you like hitting at your glutes and your hammies and your legs a little bit more, but it's so important to hit that upper body too. You want an all rounded body, a balanced body, a body that you take care of and just don't do it for aesthetic reasons. So I hope you give this a go and I hope you absolutely love it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and please do leave a thumbs up if you found it helpful. So I'm gonna finish off my workout now with which flavor is this? This is the Smart Shake from Woman's Best in chocolate flavor. This is the link in my bio. These shakes are life-saving. 
like why did they not do this sooner so i have one of these after my workouts and also i know for a fact you would have seen this so we're just gonna address the elephant in the room these are the brand new hoodies from honor active this is called midnight blue i am so excited for these to launch on the 14th of december just in time for christmas brand new lounge so this is our brand new classic lounge I am so proud of this collection. It is warm, it is fluffy, it is colors that I know you're all gonna absolutely love. The 14th of December, you'll be able to purchase the brand new classic lounge. So I hope you learned something new today. And remember, I love you always and forever. Thank you for being here and thank you for choosing me to help you along the way. See you next time.